now they look like an error hello everyone this is yamin and welcome to eptech knowledge now in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can show validation uh, error messages in laravel okay so this is a simple input fill over here that i just created for this tutorial and uh, we i can actually upload the data in the database and there is no validation uh, in this input field now right uh, if we just say user and you give the password over here and click save without giving the username it will save the data in the database now if you just refresh over here you can see there is a new input field over here without the username okay so what we want is that we want to upload the data but user need to fill all the input field over here if you does user do not uh, fill all the input field then uh, this will show error to the user so let's go back to our code and over here you can see uh, at login.blade.php there is just simple username email and password field over here so first of all uh, we need to go to our controller where we are actually sending the data to the uh, database so this is user controller from here i am sending uh, all the data to the database so over here uh, first of all we need to say over here dollar request now this request is actually coming from here you can see uh, if you write something else like rdq or anything you need to write the same thing over here okay so after this we need to give a arrow sign like this then we will say validate validate is a laravel function which later show the error uh, in the input field okay so after this we will give two first bracket then two third bracket okay then we'll give a uh, semicolon at the end and over here we'll give two single quotation and inside it we'll say username then equal then another arrow sign then uh, another two single quotation and we'll say over here required okay so let's save it now you might wondering where is this username coming from now if you go to our login.blade.php over here you can see username and we uh, over here the text field name equal to username okay so this username is actually going over here so if we save it now and if we refresh over here and let's say we did not uh, give the username if we just give the email and the password and click save it on store the data in the database now if you go to database and if we refresh over here you can see that there is no new data over here okay but the thing is we should show the error over here right now this is really simple we just need to go to our login.blade.php and uh, we'll just say over here just before the form we'll give two second bracket and we'll say over here dollar e double r o r s error so if we save it control s and right now if we refresh over here and you can see a third bracket over here and let's just say we forgot to give the username let's give the email and password and click save so over here you can see that uh, the user field is required okay so this error is actually a laravel another function which let us show the error in the input field do the same for the uh, password and email okay and uh, so let's let me just copy it control c and we'll just keep over here control v now since we have now multiple uh, required field so we need to give a comma over here so over here we will say password password then we will give another comma then we will say for email email so we don't need to give uh, the comma at the last one okay so let's save it and let's refresh over here again now let's just click save and you can see that username is user field is record password field is record email field is record obviously this is not the best way to show all the errors so now i'll show you a better option how you can show the errors so for this we'll go to our login.blade.php and over here instead of this we'll say at the rate of if then uh, inside this first bracket we'll say dollar errors and we also need to in this if so we'll say at the rate of in if now inside this if we'll write a for each loop so we'll say for each then we need to say dollar error e double r errors then this arrow sign then this uh, arrow sign will say all first bracket as e double r o r s as dollar errors 
okay so we also need to uh, in this for each loop so it say at the rate of int for each now inside this for each loop we'll say uh, li okay now over here we'll just say uh, two second bracket dollar e rods okay now if we save it control s and let's just refresh over here now if you just click save uh, over here you can see that the input uh, the error is showing in a better way okay so you can just also change that design over here if you want uh, let's just say over here style uh, color color is red since those are error so let's save it and uh, let's refresh over here and let's click save again so over here you can see that their color is red okay so now uh, let's do some other let's see some other uh, validation function so over here you can also like mention how long that uh, the input will be so you can just say over here minimum six it means min six so if you just save it and let's just uh, refresh over here again now let's give the uh, name let's give a username and let's give password but uh, just see over here we say passwords uh, minimum length will be six right so if we just click save so you can see that the password must be at least six character so this is uh, one thing now i'll show another thing for let's say email let's say there can be only one kind of email uh, in the database it means now let's go to our database and uh, over here you can see user at out of gmail.com over here now there cannot be same kind of email twice in our database so for it uh, let's go back to our code and over here in the required after required we'll say email and then we'll say unique and then we'll give this clone sign and over here you need to give our database now database name and over here you can see that my database name is uh, user logins so we need to give this uh, user logins name over there over here so we'll say user logins and let's save it control s and uh, now if we leave and let's give the let's say uh, username let's give the same email let's say user and let's give the password this time and let's click save and over here you can see that the username has already been taken okay so we cannot give the same in, uh, email again so let's try with different email let's see if it works or not let's click save okay this time all the input field uploaded successfully if you just refresh over here you will see another input over here okay so right now the thing is we are showing uh, that error uh, over here right but uh, the better way is to show all the errors just below the input field okay so let's uh, i'll show you now how you can do it so let's go back to our code again and over here uh, we'll go to login.blade.php then uh, we'll just remove this if condition okay so now since we want to show the errors under uh, specifically for like username email or password so now we'll just uh, say over here just uh, after this uh, username input field we'll say over here span and inside this span we'll just say over here at the rate of error at the rate of error then uh, first bracket then two single quotation over here we will say username then we also need to in this error so we will say uh, we will say int error and inside this we will say uh, give two second bracket and we will say dollar me double s a g now message is another uh, laravel function which let us show the error of a specific uh input field okay so let's save it now uh if we just go to our browser let's refresh again and let's say we do not give the username over here let's only give the password and let's click save so over here you can see that the error is shown over here username field is required right so now uh, okay let's just keep this uh, error after this diff control v control s now let's refresh let's give the email password okay the user field is required 
okay so now let's do the same for email and password so let me just copy this again control C and we will give it after this email and over here it will be email instead of username email and over here it will be password p a w s w o r d password okay so let's save it so now let's refresh over here now let's click save okay everything uh, is showing every error is showing over here so now let's just uh, make their color red since they are error so we'll just say over here style we'll say color red so let's save it uh, let me just copy it and give it for email and password control v control s now let's refresh again and let's click save okay now they look like an error now this was all about form validation in laravel so if you like this video please subscribe this channel and thanks for watching